kids. If my job all of a sudden tells me tomorrow that they're going to be paying us in Bitcoin, I just called my mortgage company up the other day and they they didn't they told me that they're not taking Bitcoin as payment. So that's my issue. I, I don't I don't get way, it. You got to find a way to convert that into regular you regular uh, currency. Right. Or find a place that's going to accept Bitcoin as a currency. What the hell is Bitcoin? I hear people talking about it. I see it as the new it thing to actually be into and to talk about, to be able to talk about cryptocurrency and like NFT uh, and shit. Right. And I can't, I can't seem to understand it. You know, people explain it to me. I can't understand it. You know why? It's imaginary money. Like basically that's all you're doing. You're buying imaginary shit that only exists online. And you're hoping it raise value. Like you're going to buy it at like 0.1 cent a piece or, you know what it is? It's, it's, it's stock, bro. That's all it is. It's stock. It's another, it's another form of stock. Cause you, you you're buying something. Uh, you're buying Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? Can you, can I, can I hold Bitcoin like money? Can I touch it? No, you can't. It only exists digitally. You dig what I'm saying? All right. Unless you, but now they got a way you can actually like cash that out. So let's say you buy it at like 50 cent and then it, it raised in value to like 55 cent. Everyone you bought at 50 cent, you make a five cent profit off of, and then you can withdraw that those funds, um, you know, at a cost. It says Bitcoin. Gamble. Bitcoin is a decentralized digital currency without a central bank or signal or a single administrator that can be sent from user to user on a peer to peer Bitcoin network without the need for intermediaries. So that is, I still just don't understand that. Exactly. It's like fucking stock, bro. And, and what's crazy is, yo, I was reading, it was this, it was this dude, right? Cause not anybody can create a form of currency nowadays. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So Bitcoin is just one of the names of the form of currency. Elon Musk came out with his own form of currency or whatever that's out there you can buy. So this other guy came out with his form of currency, right? Everybody went ape shit. Everybody bought the currency. Everybody bought it. Then a couple months later, he sends out like a mass, his company sends out like a mass uh, email or mass posting, whatever. It was like, all right, I got your money. I'm out. He took everybody money that bought his, his imaginary currency. And he did. And since there's no regulation on it, they don't know who it was. It's all anonymous. All this Bitcoin and it's like black market money. You right. know what I mean? Like you don't says, know who the person is. He took this shit and ran. Right. It says, what is Bitcoin and how does it work? Each Bitcoin is basically a computer file, which is stored in a digital wallet app on a smartphone or a computer. People can send Bitcoins or part of one to your digital wallet and you can send bitcoins to other people every single transaction is recorded in a public list called the blockchain see my thing is this so if, <clears throat> if my job all of a sudden tells me tomorrow that they're going to be paying us in bitcoin i just called my mortgage company up the other day and they they didn't they told me that they're not taking bitcoin as payment so that's my issue I, I don't i don't get way, it you got to find a way to convert that into regular you regular uh currency Right. Or find a place that's going to accept Bitcoin as a currency. Like I know they got like like rap artists who's been paid in Bitcoin nowadays. It's weird for me, bro. It's, it's, it's weird. Again, I don't like to gamble, so I don't get involved in that Bitcoin, uh, that whole this whole NFT craze. Maybe 20 years from now, um, I'll be proven wrong. I'll wait like, and see, but, but the thing, again, I'm not getting the thing. Old, I'm, I'm the thing I look at is like the way everybody's talking about it now. It would seem like even if you get onto it, you're too late. Now would be too late because everyone's talking about it, and I always like to go the opposite way of what everybody else is going. Correct, and that's why I mean, it seems scary. I, to I, me. I don't think I don't think it's a point of too late because look, I mean, look, like you said, your 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 mortgage company is not going to take Bitcoin. No, I'm not saying it's too. I'm not saying it's too late. I'm just saying based on the fact that think about it, everybody knows about it. Even regular people know about Bitcoin. That to me means that it's too late. Just being an analyzer of of things, 
It just think, means that it's too late. No, nah, I think it's, it's again, I keep saying this. I look at it like stock market. Is it too late to get a stock market? No. There's a lot of people that's involved in the stock market who know a lot more than you. Yeah. It's, it, you got to know some funky ins and outs to be successful at a stock market. Yes. Can any average Joe go buy a piece of stock right now and say they're they're a stock investor? Absolutely. That's basically what you have with Bitcoin. You dig what I'm saying? Right. The, okay. The, the average individual just feels now I could play with the big boys. I can go buy me some stock in Johnson & Johnson. I can go buy me some stock in Apple. So now it's, I can go buy me some Bitcoin. Elon Musk came out with some new currency. I can take a chance. I can go buy some of that currency and hope that it grows and I give me some money. Right. I. I, I just personally don't want Bitcoin. I don't know enough about Bitcoin. And I read this a long time ago that you should be able to teach any philosophy of yours to a third grader. And I'm not the best student, so I can be a pretty decent third grader, though. And all I'm saying is this. I just don't understand Bitcoin. I don't understand nah, cryptocurrency. Weird, I just don't understand cryptocurrency. I need help. No, I don't like it. I don't like it, bro. Check this out. If you understand cryptocurrency, please help us. Comment Educate below. Educate us. Please. Please. If you got the, if you got the inside, bro, let me know. Let me know. I mean, my, my brother, the other day, my brother told me, he was like, yo, because, you know, he be, my brother's a lot young and he, he, he's with all this uh, NFT and Bitcoin. And he was telling me, he was like, yo, hey, bro, I bought this Bitcoin and this new guy came out, uh, this new Bitcoin hit the market. Well, again, it's, I'm using Bitcoin as a, as another phrase for another one of these uh, cryptocurrencies. It's like, yeah, it was like 000.1 cent when I bought it. I spent like like uh, 500 on it, bought like 55,000 uh, uh, shares. Then it, it turned in, it grew to like 0.000011. And my, five, my 500 turned into like 5,500 50, or something like, oh, all right, I guess. Don't. Like I said, like I said, it's not it's not being explained enough so a third grader can understand it. And there probably are somebody going to comment below. I know saying like third graders do understand it. That's probably because they're probably invested in it. And that's cool. I just don't understand Bitcoin and how it works in the cryptocurrency. But I'm going to educate myself and hopefully I can update these episodes with some updates about how I understand uh, cryptocurrency. But as of right now, I don't understand it and I haven't found anybody that can that can break it down to me. And but it sounds cool. Investment. I it definitely does. know. And I'm noticing that it definitely sounds cool to talk about. And that's why I'm kind of like, is this just a, a cool thing to this to start talking about cryptocurrency? Is this the new wave? You it's know, so the new wave. The question is, is it here to stay? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not with that. I'm on a wait and see list. Hey, can you can you name a time when um, racism played a part in, in something? in your life where you didn't didn't achieve or didn't get something or didn't excel because of uh, racism? Not that I'm aware of, but if it, maybe it's happened behind closed doors, but I can't say, hey, yo, that right there happened because I was black. No. All right. No, because I was just I was just thinking about that um, today. You know, I was just thinking about um, a lot of oh, my short- to you a lot. No. No, not at all. A lot of my shortcomings. I mean, there's one time I've been pulled over in Maplewood in a white town. Um, were you were you right pulled, or wrong, though, when they pulled you over? I think I was. Well, well, we were definitely we didn't do anything wrong. We didn't have anything in the car or anything. Me and my brothers would actually go to play basketball. But okay. my brother was in the back seat. He had dreads in the car. He had dreads. He was leaning over like, you know, it, it did look bad. But I pulled you over, too. Profile. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, so, you got dreads. Of course, I got to pull you over. But yeah, he, he did the whole, the whole, you know, went the whole nine yards. And uh, I kind of looked at it like, you know, I kind of get this, like, this is, you know, nothing big. But other than that moment, like he was profiling to me, that's how I looked at it. But other than that moment, um, any of my shortcomings came from me being either lazy or procrastinating. It didn't really have anything to do with the color of my skin. And like you, it would have to, somebody would have to tell me like, yo, behind closed doors, he only didn't do that because you were black. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you no know? outward, no outward forms of racism that you've experienced. No, I was I was coming up with a scenario, right? Let's say you're on a football team, you play football, right? You were a lineman, right? So let's say, <laughs> yeah. let's say they were I'm a I'm a coach and I'm white, right? And let's say that you and Jason 
um, play the same position. You guys are both guards, right? You know, Jason's dad donates to the team and helps the team out a little bit with cleats and everything. And you and Jason, believe it or not, little do you know, you know, you and Jason's skill level are about equal. Okay. So I decided to start Jason instead of you. Am I being racist? No, I don't think that has anything to do with race. That's okay. Okay, fine. All right, let me make the scenario a little better. Take that the fact that his dad donates to the school out of the equation. Okay. I just let Jason start because he's white. Now you're being racist. How? How? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, hold on, okay, hold okay. on, hold on, hold on. Let me explain. Let me explain. You and Jason have the same exact skill level. So I'm not hurting or damaging the team by putting him in there. I'm just putting him in there because he's white. Okay. And the fact now, hold that on. Now, hold on. solely on his race is right. what made it racist. That's not racist. I'm just yes, protecting my is. own. I'm, I'm helping my own. Now, that let me ask you this question. Bruh, same, that's it, racism. It's not racism. I don't think yo, so. You, yo, you're now, racist I, coach. Hold on. Let me explain. I you think it's racism. All right. I think it's racism if Xavier is better than Jason and I'm letting Jason play because he's white. That's what I think is racism. Now, let me say it. If the same thing happened and I was black, and I decided to let and Jason was black and I decided to let Jason play because he's black. But you two are both on the same skill level. I'm not losing anything. I'm not slighting anybody. I'm just picking him because he's black and I'm black. Is that you racism? Is yes, that racism? Because, yes, because hold on, because. So what? Hold on. Hold on what hold am on. I supposed no, no, to decide no, no, on? Both of your skill you. levels are equal. Let me answer you. Go Can ahead. Then. You? Go Can ahead. Answer you? OK, look. Jason and I are both human beings, right? We are both males. We are both on the football team. We are both equally skilled. You need to find another attribute that separates us other than the color of our skin. That's what makes it racist because no one should get or lose an opportunity because the color of their skin. Man, I'm letting him play because he's white and I'm white. <laughs> You two both are the same. You two both are the same. You two both so, are the same. How is that racism? Hey, yo, if that so, how so is that racism? Saying, so you saying white guys make better linemen? Because no, look, no, no. I'm the better. That's athlete not what I'm saying. Then. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm That's saying is, saying. what I'm saying is, I don't think that people take like looking out for their own in situations like that when it's okay to do it. It's like you know what? What is going to be the underlying factor? Okay, so when is you it, know what? I'm black. He's black. We're from the same town. You know what? He's going to start when you both okay. are equal. Now, fine, one was fine. better than the other. And I decided to just not do it because of the color of the skin. Hey, then yo. that's different. I think hey, that's, yo, that's different. Bullshit. I just you knew the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, I, I grew up, you know, understand. I went to St. Benedict's prep. Right. And I remember this pre this not preacher, but it was some a poet came to the school and he was talking about blacks. And he was black using their, their skull of their skin as a crutch. Okay. And I just want to be careful because I noticed that every, like, I noticed a lot of, a lot of people, they can spit racism. They can talk um, slavery. They can, they can spit that stuff like backwards. You know what I mean? But they don't understand how to get a correct, correct credit score. They don't understand no. the importance. Of, they don't understand the importance of that. And it's almost like, are you using racism and slavery and all of this as a crutch to your shortcomings. I just want to make sure that we're not doing that. That's all I'm saying. And in that situation where I'm saying as a coach, I picked him because you know what? He's white. I'm white. You guys are both equal. I'm just saying somebody, you, 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 you explain you it. You explain it, making a big deal. You're making you it a big deal. Equal. No, you're making it a big deal. Like you're that much better than him. You're not that much better than him. There was no That's underlying funny. factor. Both, both of you niggas, both of you niggas. Yeah, both players. of you the same. What else am I supposed to do? He is white and I'm white. Then, so now, you, so need to, hold, you need to make on. us run laps. Whoever finished the lap quickest. I don't know. You guys who, both finished the same knows, time. Whoever knows the most, you, most plays. You guys like, both know, know the same amount of plays. <laughs> you go make this difficult. I'm just saying that people are going to take at, off after their own naturally. That's what right. animals do. I think that's a given. You know, ch trying to trying to trying to take that away from. But you know what? The problem is, check this out. See, and this is where it becomes a problem, though. Just only only in this instance is when it becomes a problem. Because when you're looking out for your own and you the minority, that means every place you go, your own is not going to be there. So that's why it's not cool. That's the only reason it's not cool. 
uh, other than like I dig looking out for your own. I dig that. I dig that. But under if we're gonna live and die by that principle, bro, a lot of us is taking the short end of the stick. I mean, right. no, I mean, I like, 100. I like when you said that we're in minority because now that changes things. All right, so now look at it. Okay, put it this way. Now you guys are both equal, and now I'm gonna pick you because you're black. So now what am I doing? Now I'm picking you because you're black, and I don't want to look bad. What is that called? Now you're winning because now you're not going to look bad. You didn't lose anything because we both we both equally talented, and and now you avoid you avoid being called a racist. Okay, so uh, no, no, I'm saying that. Do we forget those moments? Yeah, yeah, we forget those. those okay, good. we forget those, those moments. Those I forgot. Cool. I'm, see, that's what I'm saying. Those are cool. That's what I'm saying. Don't let's not forget those moments. Now, now, well, granted, that? hold on, hold on, on, real quick. I don't want to take away from anybody who's had racism actually play a part. And their and their shortcomings in life, you know what I mean. So, I don't want to take away from that, but what so, I'm saying too often, that's not what is the reason for your shortcomings. The reason oh, for your shortcomings is your philosophy, how you're thinking, and and just not being educated, not understanding the situation. That may be the reason more than racism. That's sort of. I just want to make sure that we understand right. that. Hold on. So I got two parts. Two parts to it. First part: the Rooney Rule in the NFL. Do you know what that is? That's great. Have you ever heard of that? Explain, explain. The Rooney rule is the rule they tell the, the owners, like, look, you got to interview like two black candidates. And if you hire a black cat, we're going to give you some, some, some lookouts. So a couple draft picks, you get a higher slot, some, some stuff like that. Um, like large corporations got a, got a quota of, of, you know, how many black CEOs and executive they have to have. Do you think that's cool that we have those things or we shouldn't have those things? All right. Let me explain. I think that's actually cool. And I hold on real quick. I hope I'm not talking about both sides of my mouth, because the reason why I think that's cool is because this is not a sport. Right. I was I used a sport as a as a as a situation. This is the business world. And you were talking different. Yeah. Blacks okay. and whites and other races, whoever, we are all equal. You can find a, 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 a 10 black that's smart as far as the skill level 10, a 10 white, Indian, Chinese, whatever you want, Asian, doesn't matter. But, but if you look I'm out saying, for your own, you won't even into you won't consider those other people just because they don't they're not your own. Mm, that's a good point. That's a good point. This is, this is, I, I get what you said. I get what you said. I that's do, the I only do. reason I'm saying that part ain't cool. Now, okay, so we got that part. Put that. No, real quick. Now, hold on. Now that I got what you're saying, answer my question. That's why I'm getting ready to go back to your second part. Because look question. how hard that coach decision is. Like, dude, I didn't pick you because you you weren't black. You know, I gotta pick the black guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you guys, you know, you you and Xavier the same. But go ahead. Now, the second part is like, yo, I definitely feel a lot of people. Um, get too Afrocentric in the far as like, bro, like I, I, I'm not successful because I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm brown. That's not always the case. No, nah. not successful because nah. you ain't putting the time in, son. Right. Like, no, your YouTube page ain't ain't crazy. It's not because you black. It's because your content yeah. sucks. Yeah, and you're not doing it correctly. You're not studying the, the way to make the it. It comes down to the education, man. I, I just like to look at a lot of things. A lot of my shortcomings in my life was because of Ronald, because of me. Like, you know what I mean, Ronald? Sometimes you got to tell yourself, like, you suck. And, and then and then and now when you do that, don't just beat yourself up. Now you do that saying knowing that you're going to get better. Or maybe if there's something that you're just not good at, you just, just leave it alone altogether. So here's you understand? The you got to be real at some point. So here's the question I'm going to ask, though. So like. Did you give a fuck? Like, should you even care? So, boom, I go for a job, right? I didn't get it. All right. To the next one, right? How long do I harp on I possibly didn't get that because I'm black? Should I even, should I care? Or should I, should I, should I get my bag elsewhere? Or should I harp on that? Like, where, where is that line? I, I tell you what that line is. I, I wrote this down in my notes. Now, I always felt that if I wasn't undoubtedly good at anything, well, if I if I wasn't undoubtedly good at something, then then it's up for grabs. Meaning, if I wasn't drop dead, this is the dude right here, you know, so good that they can't ignore you. If I wasn't that good, 
then it's up for grabs for everything that we were just talking about. And then for, for, hold on for everything we were just talking about. If you were way better than that guard, what I was talking about didn't mean anything. Yo, Xavier is better than you, Jason. That's easy. That's what I'm talking about. If you if you picked if you picked the cat that was so under 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 my skill level, it would be obvious. And then I mean, then, but I still wouldn't shouldn't care because then I'm I'm that good. I can just get it somewhere else. But, Why but then, hard point because you didn't give it to me because you didn't let me start. I'm, I'm, I'm going to New England. I'm going to start over there. I'm, I'm awesome. But what I'm saying is if you didn't get it, excuse me, if you didn't get it because and you were the better candidate, then, yeah, there were other reasons. You got to look into that. You can you can sit now. I wouldn't sit back and harp on it because, you know, what's crazy. I, You know, it's a known fact that people tend to put high probability on unlikely events. That's a that's a fact. You can read that. So how often is racism taking place? You that's have to ask question. yourself. That's the question. That's you know, the because question. the news, the news wants you to think that it's happening every single day, all the time. But but so is everything else. So is everything else in that case. Right. But they choose to put that in your face. You know, I, I just I just think that it, it creates a crutch for the people as a whole and may not be showing the real stats. Of what's really going on. I'm so 50 50 on that, man. Because, like, yeah, it's happening. I, I I know it's happening. We see it, it reported on, so we know it's happening. But I'm like you, what is the percentage of that that's that's happening and that's really affecting you? Like, is that percentage a lot lower? But like, is it just because I think you know what? I think just because it is a percent is what makes it a huge percent. I think I think that's the way we're supposed to look at it. Just because it's happening and it shouldn't happen is the reason why it's so much attention on it and it's and it's being broadcasted like that. I don't I think I think right. I don't know. Well, I hope I hope that's the case in this and we're not just using it as a crutch because well, we no, are, a lot of people use it as a crutch, bro. A lot of people use it as a crutch. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's, saying. <sighs> that's what I'm saying. Then you get hold up. Oh, then you get down this whole rabbit hole with that. Like once you start going this racism, now you all BLM, and now you you down this rabbit hole, and then it, it gets it's, it's it's overwhelming. Like you know what? I'm gonna keep it one. Like I'm so glad. I was about to about this. Like I'm glad it's a lot of people out there fighting that fight. I don't have to fight it. It's a lot of people fighting, and we all can't fight it. I gotta go ahead and make some money for my family. Right. Like you fight it right. for me, I appreciate it. You take that. There, now there, there's a need for it. There's a need for those people. Absolutely. There's definitely this is what need I'm for those people. Because absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You and I aren't in the forefront. So there's definitely a need for whoa. Sorry, you and I aren't aren't in the forefront, and there's definitely a need for those people. So um, you know, we definitely appreciate that. But I just right. want I just want those who may not understand that. Look, man, you, you're using the the black plight as a crutch for your for you being unsuccessful in your brain, and I, I don't think that's uh I, I don't think like that's that. a recipe itself for success. You know what? Like I, I dig it. If you're gonna complain about it, fine. But what is your resolution, son? Give me a resolution. All right, you didn't get the job. You unemployed because you're black. But now, nah, right, what is the workaround? Tell me the workaround. Right, if you're gonna Yo, tell me you mad because you didn't get a job, what I'll is your plan B? I tell you the workaround. They say it takes six months to develop a skill that could change your life. I say this all the time. Six months. Why don't you gamble on yourself? You gamble on Bitcoin. You gamble on NFL. Like you gamble on everything else. How about gambling on yourself? It says six months to develop a skill. So do you have six months to dedicate towards developing a skill? Can you put that time and gamble on yourself or or not? That's what it's about. That's the... Yeah, that's what it's about. But you, I mean, if you notice a pattern, a lot of a lot of people I see that that's heavy on that and that's using that. Obviously, they're not really put. They don't want to put in the town. They're like conspiracy theorists, bro. They're gonna go with the easy route. Right easy route. I'm, it's it's the world is against me. Woe is me. I'm brown. Nobody wants to give me a chance. No, nah, I'm not gonna go over there and put in the extra time to do some study. No, I'm not gonna go over there and try to. Do you know what you gotta do? You know what you gotta do? You gotta look at. 
you got to look at everything like it's your fault because it's your fault. And that's how for see me, I'm a control freak, a bit of a narcissist. So everything is my fault. Everything is my fault. There's always a move I could have made that could have changed things in the way things could have went like a butterfly effect. Bad. Everything is my fault. Bad. So if you look at that, you, you stop becoming a victim all the time. You understand you what I'm take, saying? Take responsibility. Right. I'd rather be the villain than the victim. <laughs> That's the problem. People are afraid. People are afraid. I'd rather be the villain than the victim. You decide which one you want to be. That's the problem. You decide which one you want to be. A lot of people have, have victim like vibes. That. People have victim vibes. I have Make villain vibes. Guy. I'll be the yeah. bad guy. Yeah, I'll be the bad guy I all like day that. long. I'll say the craziest takes all day long. You understand? You know, so... <laughs> Think about it. I Which one that. do you have? Comment down below. What kind of what kind of vibes do you have? Do you have victim vibes or do you have villain vibes? You know, because one of them is winning, at least temporarily. <laughs> you know, a victim is never winning. The villain always come back. That's why you always got sequels. Because the villain yeah. don't never go in the way. Right. Who wants to be the hero? I dig it. I dig it. Mad sidebar. <laughs> do have do you or have you ever eaten chitlings? No, my, my people from the south though, so I've seen them before. Never- <laughs> so <laughs> my wife eats two shits, right? And she's not allowed to eat them like here. Like she's not allowed to cook them, and you're not allowed to eat them here. Like if your mom's making them, you gotta go over there and eat it. But I'd be upset because I'm like, yo. That's slavery food, and you don't have to eat that, and 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 it stings, and it's chitlins, son. Like, why are you eating chitlins? And I'm like, I want to know my people know. Like, just because you black doesn't mean you have to eat chitlins, bro. Like, we free. We don't gotta eat that no more, bro. I'm not eating nobody chitlins, and I'm not eating nobody oxtails. Chitlin oxtails. I'm sorry, I'm not black. I'm not eating that shit. I'm not gonna lie, man. You know what's crazy? Just the way it sounds doesn't sound good, but just like everybody else and just like how America is, I'm just going to keep it real. If all of a sudden eating chitlins became popular, no, I might get that shit a try. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 I will be uncool. Oh, to man. Death. I, I'll give that shit a try. Yo, I see a, I see no need to eat a chitterling. Like it makes no sense to right. me. Noah is an appetizer. I'm not fucking with my chitlins. Yo, bro. word is born. If like you car revoked. If you watch to this long, please hit that like button. At least, oh, at you least this at long, the, you committed. At very at the very least, please hit the like we button. Family now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, we family now. You know what, you know what I'm saying? And it's free to subscribe. So that's another button that you can push too at the same time. But yeah, man, this was a good one. I, I had fun. Uh uh, this this episode just gonna uh, gonna probably end it right here. So you already know what it is. This is say word. I'm Ronald West. That's Xavier Carnegie, sure. and we out. Hey, I'm gonna hit you. All right.